Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. I have missed you so much today, but my schedule is different. So Hot Topics is gonna come a little later, but we got live Hot Topics this Wednesday at 11 o'clock Central, 12 o'clock Eastern. So I can't wait to see you there because you know we got a lot to talk about. Let's get into these topics. Y'all, Toya Johnson um, was saying everyone, she wanted to thank everyone and say happy Sunday because she's recuperating. She had fibroid surgery. Like, how old is Toya? I mean, this person could be 22, right? 22. She is just beautiful. But I hope she is getting better. Her husband is there with her and we just wish for a speedy recovery for her. Y'all, and you know, like in the 90s when the shows were out and all that, um, Golden Brooks from Girlfriends and D.B. Woodside, they have a daughter together. Like, what was going on back in the day? <laughs> it ain't no telling what we can find. Y'all, Irv got a need to just recuperate from his stroke, right? He said he is currently working on a viral pick for DMX while he is recuperating. But uh, Tashira came out, Tashira Simmons, DMX's wife. She said, we are not currently working with Irv Gotti. And she also said that we will let you all know when something is happening. Basically, I don't know what he's talking about. And if he puts something out, he's gonna be in a little trouble. Irv, chill out. Chayenne got all into the shade room. This is from Rock the Bells page. A rep for Irv got it revealed to the shade room that he is currently working on a DMX biopic while recovering from a stroke earlier this year. Tashira said, in light of recent speculation, we want to clarify that we are not currently working with Irv Gotti, nor have we agreed to partner with him on any content related to Earl Simmons including a biopic there you go y'all i had no idea that fashion nova's ceo and founder was a man i had no idea he has recently bought a 118 million dollar building 175,000 square feet and it will be in beverly hills and this is where they're gonna do everything this is the fashion nova headquarters i had no idea a man was behind this i thought a couple of women were so this is for y'all go get all of them and at them who say that i talk about tisha all the time because now i'm gonna talk about kimmy okay um kimmy is letting her feelings about sunny be known right these girls are not friends at all so you know we saw kimmy talking to sunny because she said sunny was there with her during her diagnosis right but then when sunny married moses then it was like she betrayed destiny so now she is fully on the destiny train let's get into it what's your new friend sunny what's my new friend sunny my new friend you watch the show right there do you actually watch the show i actually said what i said what i felt what i felt kimmy is standing on big business big business she said i said what i said and i felt what i felt I wonder how Sonny feels about this. Because this is clearly not her friend. Like when she was talking to Mel and she was like, and Mel was saying how they're not feeling her. And she was like, well, what about Kimmy? She was like, you thought Kimmy was feeling you? So now we know the real answer. So y'all please go run and tell them that I want to talk about Tisha today. Cause child, they get in their feelings. Let's keep going. Y'all, did y'all know that Kanye West pays the highest child support payments in American history. Like that should be in the Guinness World Book of Records. $50,000 per child, $200,000 a month. What is Chicago doing with $50,000? I mean, I'm sure it pays for school and stuff. What is some doing? And North is just buying hair gel <laughs> and big t-shirts. That's a lot of money, but that's rich people. Y'all know we were talking about R&B yesterday, right? Tyrese's new album, Beautiful Pain, features Lenny Kravitz. And somebody told me about October London. And that is somebody I'm about to start looking into. Because this is like the third or fourth time I've heard that name. 
Now, I heard some of this music over there on the Jasmine brand. One thing about it, Tyrese gets on our nerves, but the man can sing, right? So, this may be something that I may get into because I'm really, like, starving for R&B music. Just really good music. Let me know if you want to check this out. Y'all, what are they going to just drain Lake Lanier? Because a lot of people lose their lives over here, right? A 46-year-old man who has been identified as Hassani Weidman. He drowned yesterday, I'm guessing Saturday, in Lake Lanier while swimming from shore to his boat. Now, why would he be on the shore already in a boat in the water? I don't know all of that. But when they found him, he was in 25 feet of water. It's a lot that goes on at this Lake Lanier. It's some stories about this too. I talked about this earlier when I was whispering y'all I was at work. But y'all, I am so happy for Cynthia, right? I mean, I think she probably should just kind of keep it to herself until she gets it really situated. He lives in Amsterdam. She is dating a man exclusively, right? He lives in Amsterdam. They have been exclusive for like four months, I think. And she said they have been creeping all over the place and no one has caught them yet. I just want her to keep that and just have a good time because I really want Cynthia to be happy. You know, she should really be, she's at the age where she should be treated like a queen. You know, she's an ex-model. She's beautiful. She's on the scene. She should just be living a very soft life. I hope this works out for Cynthia. Lastly, shout out to North Carolina Central University. The last time I checked, they are winning the Orange Blossom Classic. Good luck. It's your girl Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.